People automatically assume, well, if he can't walk and he's in a wheelchair, he can't communicate, he's not smart, he doesn't understand things, which couldn't be further from the truth. Because we heard foster mom, we went to the social worker and said, if Oliver is up for adoption, we would like to be considered. They don't get chosen because they have special needs and it just breaks your heart. It was a, a huge shift for us because he was so sensitive to his environment. Passing him even between Sue and I, he would cry for an hour. I had more hesitation about Ottawa Children's Treatment Centre than Sue did. I never doubted their ability to meet his needs, his physio and his occupational therapy and speech. What I was more concerned about is their ability to stimulate him intellectually. I looked at what we had as far as resources and we were not where we needed to be. Wow, like there's a camera that's picking up his eyes and and actually speaking for him. I'm looking for two words that have a silent K. Knock. Yeah, yeah that's knock right. Knock has a silent K. Remember, we don't say knock. And I think he was the first one in Canada that ever tried this out as a child. And we saw him one of the first times communicate with his mother. And that was the magic. Mommy, I love you. He shows it in so many other ways, but to verbally hear it from him, it's like, oh, come here, you. <laughs> and for him to be able to tell us truly what's in his soul, I thought, wow. Who, who's your sweetheart? Danielle. Danielle is your sweetheart. Your French sweetheart. Lynn. I had no, and Lynn. You have two, I had no idea. There was smiles, there was laughs, and there was tears all at the same time because everybody was saying, he's out, he's here, he's talking to us. And that built his self-confidence because he thought, yeah, I'm here, you need to listen to me. Every child has the potential to do things. We just need to help them develop ways to do that.